Hey guys, Frosty Knives here, and today we're back with another review, and today we are going to be reviewing the final installment in the Star Wars Original Trilogy. We're going to be reviewing Star Wars Episode 6, Revenge of the Jedi. Now, I remember being a kid and going to the Lincoln Mall and walking around, and I remember walking by the local movie theater, and I would see the big movie posters. And I had a big movie poster of Luke and Vader silhouetted with lightsabers crossed fighting. And it said, Star Wars, Revenge of the Jedi. This was before they actually they changed the name. So some merchandise leaked out. And if anybody of you out there has anything that even says Star Wars, Revenge of the Jedi, you lucky person are sitting on a gold mine. Because they're out there, but they are far and few between. So here we are with Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. And we have come full circle. We have come full circle. We have started with little baby Anakin. And Anakin and the rise and fall of Darth Vader and the Empire and the slaughter of the Jedi. And then, and then the birth of Luke. And now here we are with the return of the Jedi. And I have to say that Return of the Jedi is my second favorite of the original trilogy movies. In order, it goes Empire, Jedi, and A New Hope. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because it is the movie that I am the most familiar with. I watched it a lot as a kid. I read the book a lot as a kid. I read comics, the comics a lot as a kid. I have watched this movie may about as much as I've watched Empire Strikes Back, maybe a little bit more. But I really do like this movie. Ewoks and all. Um... It's, it's really good action end-to-end. -end. Um, it starts, of course, with the rescue of Han and the going to Jabba's palace. And I really love the scenes at Jabba's palace. Uh, I, love, I love the palace. I love the creatures. I love the puppets. I love Jabba and the Rancor and all of the, of the puppets and the, and the makeup and everything that they have there. I really like the fact that Jabba is this giant puppet, the biggest animatronic, I think, to that point that they had made. It was like five or six people had to operate Jabba. Um, and, and it was cool. The story was cool. The rescue was cool. Um, the, the sail barges, the, 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 the uh, battle over the Sarlacc pit, not the special edition crap. Sarlacc did not burp after it ate Boba Fett. That's bullshit. But anyway, um, and it was really cool because this we, we, we it starts out with, with them all coming to Jabba's palace and then... Here comes Luke, and I remember th you, you see Luke in the very beginning, and he's like, all of a sudden, he's this badass. He was a whiny kid in, in New Hope. He was a whinier kid in Empire. And Jedi opens up, and this guy's a gen genified badass. I mean, I remember when he, when he, watching him, when he walked into Jabba's palace, and he forced choked the Gamorrean guards, and then he mind tricked. Bib Fortuna to take him to see Jabba and he fought the Rancor and he's all like, yeah, it's okay. We're going to get out of this. Don't worry. It's the last mistake you'll ever make, Jabba. And I remember thinking in the beginning, like the first time I saw it, like, holy shit, Obi-Wan is back. He's, But it wasn't Obi-Wan, it was Luke and he had grown so much and he had built the new lightsaber and, and the whole thing was so badass and he was full of confidence and he was now a Jedi and he was taking on the bad guys. And that whole scene in the beginning was just awesome. And then after the rescue, you had a little bit of downtime where Luke goes back to Dagobah, talks to Yoda, basically reads him the riot act and was like, hey, listen now, puppet. Why didn't you tell me that that was my dad? You didn't tell me that Vader was my daddy. Why didn't you tell me that? You didn't tell me that. Ben didn't tell me that. What the hell kind of a trip are you tell trying to put me on right here? And the, the middle part was a little laggy just because it's a lot of exposition. It's a lot of talking. It's a little bit silly to see Obi-Wan as a force ghost kind of walking around Dagobah and sitting on tree stumps and just kind of talking to Luke and saying, yeah, you know, I, I lied to you, but I did it because, you know, I just, certain point of view, Luke, it's a certain point of view. And, and you know, that was a little bit draggy. Um, and there was some exposition that needed to be plot holes, I guess, that needed to be sort of filled in, and Yoda dying, and they got rid of that, and, and, and that was okay, but then it picks back up again with the second battle of the Death Star, and that was really awesome, the, 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 the Endor battle, the space battle, and then you have Luke 
and uh, Vader, uh, and the final battle, and the Emperor, and the death of the Emperor, and the salvation of, An of Anakin Skywalker, and space battle was really well done. And yeah, people didn't like the Ewoks. They thought it was a bit silly. And yes, the Ewoks were originally supposed to be Wookiees. And yes, it was originally supposed to take place on the Wookiee homeworld. And yes, it was originally supposed to be that the Empire had put the Death Star over the Wookiee homeworld and was using Wookiees as slaves to build the Death Star. But they didn't go that way. And yes, everybody on set, except George Lucas, hated the Ewoks. But we got the Ewoks. And, you know, they are more tolerable than Jar Jar Binks, I will say that. And the speeder bikes chase scene, I love that scene. It was just like, pew, 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 zipping through the forests and everything. And I love watching how they actually did the scene. Um, and I think that the, the end resolution of of Luke just trying to fight, trying to, to rescue Vader and Vader just going against the, you know, doing the Emperor's wishes and the whole battle and everything and Luke finally giving into his anger and cutting off Vader's hand and realizing oh, that could be me my father went down the same path that I'm now I'm going down the same path that he's going down and um you know I did think maybe in the beginning it was kind of a little silly that Vader just picked the emperor up and tossed him down the elevator shaft um but it is it is what it is and uh um, it, it's still a great movie, Ewoks and all, and um, they didn't do a lot special edition stuff to it. You know, they added some stuff with the Sarlacc, and they changed the dance routine in Jabba's Palace, and they got rid of the Yub Yub song, which, for the record, I actually like the Yub Yub song. But uh, overall, it is a solid ending to a really good trilogy of movies. And I'm going to give it the same score. I think, what did I give M uh, Star Wars? I think I gave it, I, no, I gave Star Wars four and a half out of five. I'm going to give Empire four and seven, four and three quarters out of five. So you got Empire, which is a solid five. Jedi, which is four and three quarters out of five. And Star Wars, which is four and a half out of five. And I think in a lot of ways, the original trilogy is far superior than the prequel trilogy. And that's not just because I lived through it and I grew up with it. But I think that a lot of things were done right in the original trilogy that were not done correctly in the prequel trilogy. And I'm hoping that the new trilogy, what are they going to call that? We've got the original trilogy, the prequel trilogy. And what are they going to call this trilogy? The post trilogy, the new trilogy, the... After trilogy, we got to come up with a new. We got to come up with. We got an OT, a PT, and now we got to come up with another T for these new trilogies of movies. Um, and I, for one, am really looking forward to the Force Awakens. And before I go with this review, so that's my review. It's basically me rambling about Jedi and how how much I really, really did enjoy it. Um, overall, I, I, there's something I dug out of the old Frosty Files, and I want to show it to you. I want to show it to you. John, if you're watching, I want to show you something. Okay. Dug this out. This is my Star Wars Return of the Jedi sticker album by Tops. Now, back in the day, you could get by this sticker album, and it would be it would be blank. You would you would open it up and all there would be all these blank spots and you would buy these top cards and they came with bubblegum and they came with cards and they came with stickers and, and then you would take the stickers and and you would put them in the spots. They were all numbered spots. Let me see if there's a, there's a couple pages in here that actually don't have this is almost filled, but there's a couple of pages that don't have spots. So like you come it would come like this, and then you would find this, the sticker that had the number. And you would stick it here. And you would collect them. And so I have this. Special movie edition. 25 cents. Star Wars. Turn of the Jedi. Sticker album. And it's mostly filled up. And you can tell by the shape of it. It's really beat up. It's really... Well, I've had it for a long time. This came out 1980. Well, whenever it, whenever it came out. 19, 1983 uh, is when it came out. And it's full of all of the stickers. However... This is what I want to show you. Okay. This is not actually my 
sticker book, my original personal sticker book, but this sticker book was given to me by one Juan Dacier. Okay? I can show you that address because he doesn't live there anymore. He live, hasn't lived there since he was a kid. And at the top, it says here, I want to read this to you because I find this funny. John Dacier is a full-fledged ninja signed by the master. Pretty sure that's your handwriting, John. I don't know, but it kind of looks like yours. And this is something that John gave me. And I've kept it. And I've held on to it. And it's neat. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, John, if you're watching, I still have your sticker book. And I think that you're actually the master. Because I, I think you wrote that. I'm not sure, but pretty sure you, you wrote that. All right, guys. So, I did it. I made it. I, I have this tendency of starting these series and not finishing them. But I made it. We reviewed all of the Star Wars movies. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, next week... Force Awakens comes out. So look forward to my next review, spoiler free of course, of, of Star Wars, The Force Awakens, after I see it, probably see it again, maybe see it a third time, might it be fourth, not sure, we'll see how good it is. I saw Phantom Menace in the theater at least three times. So I gotta give this one a fair shake. So guys, that was my review of Star Wars Episode Six: Revenge, Nay, Return, of the Jedi. If you like, comment, subscribe, share it, and don't forget to tune in next week where we'll, we'll be talking about The Force Awakens. Until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next review.